Everyone is faced with adversity at some point in their life, but how you bounce back from it is what defines you. This is one of the messages the wo Wounded Warriors amputee softball team is trying to spread, and today they were in Brainerd for a softball game, and our Anthony Scott has more on that story. We're here to, to, to show what we can do and still inspire people, and uh, you know we're, we're blessed to be able to do it in front of a pretty big crowd tonight. And what a crowd there was, as nearly 1,000 people came out for this year's Wounded Warriors softball game, However, this night was more than just about playing a game. Well, softball is kind of an afterthought. It's more of the message. It's a community event for the whole community of Brainerd. It's, it's for the veterans. It's, it's for everyone to come here, smile, maybe shed a tear, and just know how important the armed forces are to us and what they've done for us. The Wounded Warrior amputee softball team travels the nation trying to inspire people while playing the game they love. We're out here leading by example. We're showing you that you know, we got knocked down, but we got right back up, and we're helping others before ourselves. So you try to put others before yourself. If, if everybody acted like that, we'd have a pretty awesome world. We almost created this like mobile, Lee of, uh, mobile VFW or American Legion as a softball team. The team up against the Wounded Warriors today were the Brainerd All Stars, which featured a pair of professional athletes formerly from Brainerd. Oh, it's great. I mean, to be able to come back and uh, support the veterans and the Wounded Warriors, it's a, it's a great event. I mean, they did a great job. You look around all the people that have come out and support. Besides last year, I haven't swung a bat in five years. Last year I came up, did some batting practice, all right. I think I had three singles last year, so I'm hoping to... I'm going to swing for the fence, see what happens. might not work out, but we'll see. Before the game, the veterans worked with kids with disabilities as part of the Miracle League, something that they will never forget. When you're dealing with like mental issues and, and physical disabilities, like, it really opens your eyes to what really is a bad day. Uh, and I think, in general, America's kind of missing that a little bit. All proceeds from the game went to support This One's for Hop, a foundation to support youth sports. Overall, it was a night that everyone in the community could enjoy. You look around here and the, and the thing is you see people smiling. And the thing is, you know, we all have to believe that no matter what happens in our life, a tragedy might, might hit us. Something, you know, bad happens and we need to overcome that. And the Wounded Warrior Amputee softball team is a prime example of how we do that. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. This one's for Hop will also have their 40th annual softball tournament tomorrow at Mills Field in Brainerd with nearly 20 teams competing. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.